so far it's all going really well. Um, we're in week eight and we're progressing. Quite an interesting challenge today. I think it's um, it's been a lot of you know finding the songs that you want to use and also immersing yourself in the culture of um, the play and the context of it all. Um, you know, the, the challenge is for us going away and find a piece that they'll say, oh yes, I like that bit and keep that bit and chop and change that bit and stuff like that, but to actually see um, the recognition of the work that's gone in is, is really nice for us. Hopefully there will be lots of different variations of um, several songs by the end of the um, process and won't it be fun to see? <laughs> Um, fortunately for us, the script has now been finished completely. And don't imagine she really heard, you know, heard it. So you can just keep repeating the same line until she's done it. So now at the moment we're working on individual scenes, we're moving forward with Lowood particularly and Gateshead and Thornfield. Um, the costume team have finally finished making their corsets but they're moving on ahead um, with the rest of their costumes. <laughs> Design team and set team are going fantastically. Today they've been texturing some of the floor um, and preparing uh, the benches that are going to be used during the show. In terms of the acting, everyone is working really hard. Um, everyone's ramping up their efforts and we're here every night and every day. You're, you're there and then boom it stops and then you speak and then it gets loud again because otherwise we can't hear her when it's too loud. Amy, what are you doing today? Okay, but you still want to go. We organised an open mic night here at the UEA. We had people from all over the university doing performances for that. I was just kind of singing and sketch shows and comedy and poetry and things. So, so that was a huge popular event. We also did some publicity events at yeah. the Forum in Norwich. We did some singing and some flyering, got to speak to members of the public, which yeah. was really great, trying to get people from the local area down to UEA to see exactly what we do here. The Christmas lights, um, which is uh, not this week but the week after, we're going to be kind of going around all of the crowds and giving out flyers and talking to some more people in town. And hopefully they'll all be in a good mood because they'll all be Christmassy. So if you're there, give us a wave. Yeah, and we'll stick a flyer in place. Yeah. If we want to find out more information about Jane Eyre, where do we go? You can go to www.janeyreproduction.com. As part of the multimedia team, we've been given the task of including some actual visual projections in the show. So we've been uh, practicing with using two different projectors, crossing the images over each other. Um, we've been using smoke, and we're also going to be projecting the images onto strips of white and black fabric. Uh, yeah, about three weeks ago now, we started filming for a trailer. Uh, to advertise our theatre production of Jane Eyre. Good job. <laughs> now we have a finalised version of this now, it's up on YouTube, you can check it out. Um, we both worked on it, so I think we're very proud of it. Now uh, one of our main jobs as the multimedia team is creating video blogs as mm -hmm. these. Yep. So you, as the audience members, can understand how much effort every one of us has each put in mm. to every part of Jane Eyre. As I walked as I would, suddenly death before me stood.